first video in a series that I'm calling the Foundation Files, and I'm just going to do short little reviews and demos of new foundations that I want to try, and a lot of them will just be samples that I've gotten that I've picked up at Sephora, you know, to when they do the matching and everything. I love to go get matched and try out new foundations. I just, I really enjoy it. Even though I don't wear foundation every single day, sometimes I just wear concealer, sometimes I don't wear it at all, I love foundation. I love the different technologies behind it. I love the different effects you can get. And uh, yeah, I just kind of really, really love that aspect of makeup. But today, we're going to start out with the Hourglass Oil-Free, well, no, wait, the full name is the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free SPF 15. And I went into Sephora to pick up a couple specific foundations, and the associate suggested that I try this one when I told her my skin is so dry. She said it's incredibly hydrating and really nice, and I know Hourglass is really nice. So I got a little sample. Okay, my overall impression of the Hourglass Tinted Moisturizer is that it's really, really amazing stuff. But here's a few caveats. <laughs> so, Tinted Moisturizer really has come a long way, and this, they call it a Tinted Moisturizer, but it has the coverage of a foundation. It has a very thick, creamy consistency, and I'll show you that when I apply it towards the end of the video. And I don't have the bottle to show you. Like I said, I just got this little sample. But it has great coverage. I mean, I technically I'd say it's light to medium, but uh, that's what I like. That's what I go for. It, it's definitely going to provide enough coverage to even out your skin tone and yet keep you really, really natural looking, but just oh so much better. Okay, caveats. It's outrageously expensive, um, which is probably no surprise to you if you're familiar with the Hourglass brand. Uh, for one ounce of foundation, which is the, the standard foundation size, it cost $55, which just blew my mind <laughs> when I saw that. And I think if it was a more reasonable price, like in the 30s, maybe up to the low 40s, I would have a much easier time buying the full size. And I am not quite there to the point where I want to pay for the full size, even though I think it is fantastic. It is indeed very hydrating. It, you will not feel the least bit dry. It, we it wears beautifully throughout the day. You'll get a solid eight hours of wear. It doesn't just, you know, fade away or disappear on you, yet it feels just like a moisturizer. It really applies like a moisturizer, yet gives you this amazing coverage. So as fantastic as this product performs, as beautiful as it is to use, I just can't get on board with it because you're paying, I mean, you're paying for the prestige of the brand, and I mean, it's an excellent product, but you're paying for skincare ingredients in the product, um, SPF as well as other skincare ingredients, and Hourglass is really big on that. But if you're putting it over a moisturizer and over a sunscreen, I am not convinced that all those skincare ingredients are really reaching into your skin and getting, getting past the surface top layer of your skin, especially if you wear it with a primer. Um, I'm not big on primers. I have not worn it with a primer yet, but you know, it's like I might want to. I, sometimes I like to put the pore professional on my nose just to really fill in, you know, those larger pores there and make it smooth. But if you do that, you're not getting any of those skincare benefits because I just don't, I just don't think it's possible for those ingredients to sink in past a silicone-based primer. It's just not going to happen. Okay, if you are curious to see how I apply this product and how it looks going onto a bare face, uh, stay tuned. As I said, I really, really want to get this, but I don't think I will. And I think the biggest roadblock is the price for me, just because I'm not convinced that you're getting $55 worth. Um, I'll also say BB creams often have come in larger sizes, like the Dior BB cream, which I've heard is really nice and really hydrating, which I'm going to try soon. Uh, comes in a 1.7 ounce size, and it is a little bit cheaper than the Hourglass Tinted Moisturizer. So there's that. Okay, here comes the demo. Okay, now we're nice and close, and I have absolutely nothing on my face except moisturizer with sunscreen. Now, like most foundations, I like to apply the Hourglass Tinted Moisturizer with my fingers. Um, it's a very thick, creamy formula. It's thicker than most foundations, which tend to be the ones I wear, the light to medium coverage, tend to be, you know, really light and almost fluid-like. This is like a thick cream. Okay, so I kind of start around the center of my face. I apply it just like foundation, you know? So I dot it on there where I want the most coverage around my nose and to sort of cover up those 
sunspots and freckles around the center of my face. And I find that it does a really nice job of um, evening out the color under my eyes, you know, neutralizing that redness and shadow that I get. And I don't need any more of this um, than I do a foundation, maybe even less, just because it is so very thick. Um, my chin. Alright, and that's really all I think I'm going to need. And then I just work it in. Just like I would if I were applying my favorite True Match Lumi or, or really anything. Now, Hourglass has a foundation brush. They recommend that that's what you use, you know, of course. And I use my fingers so that I can just press it into my pores and just get, like, flawless your skin but better <laughs> coverage. That's what I aim for. Uh, this shade is ivory, and there's only one shade lighter than ivory, and I'm kind of wondering if this isn't a little too light for me. I feel like I put it on, and I'm kind of pale, not so good. Um, so I want to go and get a sample of the next shade, but, you know, I did like the whole machine matching thing, and this is what the associate recommended, and she looked at me, you know, by the window and all that jazz, so this shade does work, and when I put on a little bronzer and everything else, it looks fine. There was absolutely nothing that looks too light about it. So, I don't know, tell me what you think, now that it's mostly rubbed in, if you think it looks too light. But that's really it. I am going to turn this off and get really close and make sure everything is kind of perfect and I'll come right. Okay, I just went over and perfected every little bit of product on my skin. And this, these are the results. Um, I think it looks incredibly natural. Um, you can still see my skin. You can see differences in tone and I guess what you would call imperfections. But, I mean, to me it just looks natural but nice. And it does take down some of the shine. It definitely evens things out and takes down redness. Um, I have some peeling here, even though I exfoliated today. And it doesn't, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the foundation doesn't really stick over that too badly. Um, no more than another moisturizer. It feels just like a moisturizer. It feels light as air. Um, so yeah, let me know if you think this color is too light for me. But I don't know, the more I look at it in like the natural light, I think it's probably okay. So I would say this product does run on the lighter or on the darker side. The colors are darker than you would think. So that is all guys. Okay guys, I am back with full on makeup now and I the only thing I added to my face was the tiniest bit of my NYX HD concealer in yellow just to make sure this area was really bright and kind of take away the look of puffiness under my eyes. I put on blush. Um, it's just a very very pale, like, peachy color. It's Elf Candid Coral. I put that on my cheeks, and I just kind of ran the excess across the temples just to, like, warm it up a little bit. But otherwise, no bronzer, nothing else on my face, no highlighter. But, of course, I did in my eyes. So, still, tell me, tell me if you think this is too pale for me. I'm just, like, on the fence about it. But anyway, that is all, and I hope you learned a ton and got a little insight from watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this product or are considering trying it, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a wonderful day.